Okay, welcome to a very short episode of Irish Safaris Hunting. This is going to be a very, very short video. Uh, we're going to be talking about the new dog tracking device available on the Irish market from Easy Hunt in Sweden. This device is called the Easy Hunt E Track Mini. It's only became uh, available this year. Easy Hunt got in touch with me a few months ago, asked me would I be interested in take them on the devices to see what I thought of it in the field and how it would compare to the ever popular Garmin device which I already own as well so a quick talk about the device this is what comes in the box you have a neck strap which is of like a biotech material so it won't rot stretch it's waterproof also reflective material this is the tracking unit really small and light indicator light for when it's on and off or when she's actually in mode charging unit there of uh, a standard usb device that comes with the package okay virtually no weight whatsoever on the dog which is what i like because some dogs don't like that big long aerial the heavy box hanging out of them so that was the track works off a mobile phone so a lot of people are going to say okay how, how, how does it work off a phone you have to download the easy hunt app from the play store if you use an android or from the iphone store and we don't know what it's called if you have an iphone uh, once you're in the easy hunt app uh, you put in your information your name the name of your dog or dogs on the back of the device you have an imei number which you put into your easy hunt app after downloading it you pay per year for this so it's it's um, a yearly sub i think it's 90 something euro so what i like about this over the garment that i've been using first of all it's so small it's so light that's all that you that's all you basically you have to carry is this in your phone go back then to the discussion after this Here, Vanna. Come on. Okay, so this is the device on the valley now. Very simple, light. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to send her on with Maria up the field. I'm going to stay here and uh, turn on the app and then we we'll see what it's like. So this is one of the features on the app. You have four different uh, contours to pick from. So you have e-map, you have simple terrain, you have a satellite, and also a road view. Okay, so I normally go for, it's very hard kind of holding on your own to do this, but I just go for satellite, okay. I don't know if that can even be seen there or not, but that's the view that we have. So you can uh, you can actually add other dogs onto your track also. So if you know what are deer stalkers in the area, um, you can add them into like a story on this, so everyone can actually help on the track, even even from different areas. Um, yeah, so that's just like a, that's just like an overview of the map and you can see how clear that actually is and this is what I really like about it it's a lot clearer than the Garmin maps that's the first thing so we're just going to put Vala onto a short walk with Marie and then I'm going to start this ok so Marie's just going to take Vala just over the field, just over the just over the brow um, and I'm going to use one second. Okay. I don't know if that can be seen there or not. Um, 
Okay, so the paw is a signal that Vala's device is online, it's active. Um, it's very hard to see it there, but it gives it down right down to five meters accuracy. Okay, so basically, you just follow the direction of the arrow. You can see now it's, it's, it's after changing, it's after going east. So she's in an easterly direction, which is the way the Maria actually walked where okay so we know that it's active now if I turn around and if I touch on this it tells our safaris is the name that I have on my device so Val is now 50 meters away okay Marie just stay where you are for one moment please so it says 50 meters away okay so she just moved over the brow Sixty-seven meters, and the arrow is pointing directly north. And if we look up, we are, I would say, from even from uh, a really, really good guess, we're around seventy meters there. Okay. So Maria, if you could just continue to walk on in that direction. I know it's hard to explain with this, but um, basically what you see here, we're getting all the contours, also the altitude, so 150, 300, 500, 1000, 2000 meters. So out to 2000 meters, this is going to be accurate. It's going to actually like be pinpoint accuracy to 2000 meters within five meters of the dog. Okay. Okay, so now Marie has walked on my father. Um so we basically just follow the arrow's direction. The same as the garment of I any other device for tracking the dog. So we can see now that she's turned direction and if we click on the distance she's approximately a hundred meters and she's closing down okay she continued to close on me here and there we are now okay. Closing down. So this screen here and information, it'll say oh your safari is for me, your battery level it gives you, your distance. So you can save every track also. Um I'll just pass the camera over to me so I talk really quickly. So I know it's hard to kind of hold the camera and this and we're putting it into the sunlight it just wasn't the best but on the device so if i click out with this into my map okay i mean it's really defined that's the first thing Vale is less than two meters away now so every pop when you have that paw print up it also means that your device is online it's active and it's working off satellites, okay? So if you click on that again, then information, you can store all your information here, okay? So I'm gonna save all that. So, better different contours, so we can go for that type of contour. 
which will be terrain. We can go for E maps. Okay. We can go for a street view, which will. So it'll basically show your rivers and your townlands, etc. etc. I like to leave it on the satellite one. Um, <clears throat> that's for sending messages to other tr trackers in the area. Um, you've got your map settings, your track settings. Now, the beauty of this is if your dog is out of range and if your dog is on the animal, whether it's dead or alive, maybe you can't hear your dog actually bark if you have a barking dog on these. Every device comes with a number, with like a cell number, mobile number. So you can ring this number and it if your dog is barking at the animal you actually use your phone as a receiver and a speaker so your dog can be heard on the phone in a barking mode if you dial the number that that would be given independently to everyone that buys the device which is another fantastic feature now i've compared this with the garmin that i have the garmin is now out of action that's only my opinion there, there is nothing wrong with the garmin but I like this because I'm always using the phone. It's in my pocket, nice and handy. It's out of the way. I don't have any big long interfering antennas that have to be folded down that can sometimes unscrew um, at the connection. That's all that we have. It's a simple, simple device. Um, they're so popular in Sweden. Uh, they're becoming huge in Germany, Denmark, Norway. That's all it is. It's no heavier than... This is actually heavier, I believe. Um, once it's charged, I think it takes up to eight hours for like a full charge. It will stay... It can't be turned on or off. That's one other thing. It doesn't have like an on and off button. So this thing stays in standby mode uh, for seven days. 168 hours, okay? It can't be turned on and off, but after three to four minutes, it goes into like a standby mode, so it just turns itself off in the memory, but it will always flash, okay? So it might be no harm just to maybe once a week to turn on and charge again, the same as any other device. Um, but for the money, I mean, you are not gonna go wrong. Put it into your pocket, start for every track or even every hunt just put it onto the lead or onto the onto the neck lead it's never going to be noticed even um, anyone interested in the easy hunt e-track mini contact Simon Clark or Stephen Goodwin at the sport and then having they're the only dealers in Ireland for these so anyone interested in in their dogs and their and into their tracking I, I would strongly advise to get one of these Okay, thanks everyone for watching.